Uh, so what would you say the main cause of habitat fragmentation is? Hmm. Probably human land use change currently, depressingly. Yeah. Um, but I think it's also you know, it's also a natural process. There are certain natural forces which drive mm. habitat fragmentation or have historically been historically driven. Mm. Whether that's I don't know, macro scales, kind of continental drift or volcanism, storms, you name it, forest fires. Mm. So it is I think it's a fairly natural process of it just accelerated by so the main cause of habitat fragmentation, at least in the Alps, basically it's, I mean, it's um, in all the cases is like human driven. Mm -hmm. So uh, both like directly by, for example, deforestation mm -hmm. to some extent, uh, for example, for the exploitation of the mountain for touristic activities like uh, ski resorts, uh, ski lift, uh, etc. So for sure, I mean, of course they have to cut yeah. Yeah. forest. So that leads to a high uh, habitat fragmentation for some species. On the other hand, actually, I mean, the increase uh, of the habitat fragmentation could, uh, to some extent, increase uh, like those uh, environments of uh, ecotones. So increasing uh, like a kind of edge effects between a habitat and another one, you will actually increase the effect of these. Uh, sorry, you, you will increase the amount of these uh, kind of intermediate habitat, which could be. Like uh, suitable for other species. If we ignore the problem, what is the worst case scenario? Well, again, I, I guess that it depends on what kind of system we are talking about. But generally, there's uh, you, you probably know very well this uh, concept in uh, like biogeographic, which is like when there's a, an important change in the environment and in the some in the amount, for example, of resources, which can be like food resources, of uh, uh, space resources for animal population, uh, where when there's this big change in, in environment, uh, we say that they can move, adapt, or die. Mm -hmm. So they can move if they have the possibility to yeah, to move and to find for some other uh, space in which they have the same uh, amount of resources that can allow the to, to maintain and to sustain a mi minimum viable population, they can adapt if the change is long enough to, I mean, if the time scale is long enough to allow, from kind of evolutionary point of view, to allow the population to, to cope with this modification. And of course, the worst case uh, scenario is to go to extinction.